Now let us see how to write these numbers in the expanded form. So let's start with the first one. 17.608. So we know that this is the units place, this is the tens place, this is the one upon tens place, this is one upon hundreds place, and this is one upon thousands place. So we can write this number as since 1 is written under the tens place, we can write this as 1 tens are 10 plus. Then since 7 is written under the units place, this can be written as 1 7 is 7. And then we have the decimal point. So plus. Then 6 is written under the 1 upon tens place. Tens place otherwise. So this can be written as 6 over 10. So 6 is the face value of that digit. And since it is under the tenths place, remember tenths, th, tenths space, uh, place, we write 6 upon 10. And then 0 is under the 1 upon 100 part. So 0 upon 100. And then 8 is written under the uh, thousandths place, again with the th. So 8 upon 1000. So in this way, we can write the number 17.608 in the expanded form. There's another way of writing the same number in the expanded form and that is, we can write 1 multiply by this one, this one multiply by the tenth place plus this 7, 7 multiply by the units place which is 1 plus the 6 multiply by 1 upon 10 okay? and then plus 0 multiply by 1 upon 100 plus 8 multiply by 8 multiply by 1 upon 1000. So this is also another way of writing it in expanded form. If you look carefully, 1 tensa is 10 then 1 7 is 7, 6 multiplied by 1 upon 10 is 6 upon 10, then 0 multiplied by 1 upon 100 is 0 upon 100, and 8 multiplied by 1 upon 1000 is 8 upon 1000. In fact, we can simply ignore this 0 upon 100, if you wish. 0 upon 100 can be totally ignored, and we can rewrite this as, because 0 upon anything is 0, or 0 multiplied by anything is 0, we can directly write uh, after 6 upon 10, we can directly write plus 8 upon 1000. But if you wish, you can write that 0 part also. So it is up to you whether you want to write or whether you want to skip it. I'll be writing it. So let us see how to expand the second number now. So the number is 0 0.0425. So this is the units place, then we have the decimal number, and this is 1 upon 10, 1 upon 100, 1 upon 1000, and this is 1 upon 10,000. So we can rewrite this as 0 as it is, plus 0 upon 10, 0 upon 10, because it is under the 1 upon 10 part. And then we have 4 upon 100, and then 2 plus 2 upon 1000 and then we have plus 5 upon 10,000. 5 upon 10,000. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. That's right. Similarly, 12.5. So 12.5 can be written as 10, which is this one number. It is under tens place plus 2, so 10 plus 2 is 12, plus 5 upon 10, because this is placed under the tens place. So 5 upon 10. Similarly, 12.50, this can be written as 10 plus 2 plus 5 upon 10 plus 0 upon 100 because this is written under the hundreds place. So you, 
you will tell me that but we can simply ignore 0 upon 100 because 0 upon anything except 0 is 0 so we can totally ignore this number so if you compare both these numbers are exactly the same because 0 upon 100 is 0 and if you add a 0 if you subtract a 0 it makes no difference so we can state that 12.5 is nothing but 12.50 both are equal to each other in fact if you see 12.5 and 12.50 are equal to each other but if you put another zero to it third zero, uh, second zero or a third zero or a fourth zero still all these numbers are equal to each other means you can put as many number of zeros after the decimal point as you want if required so 28.0060000 you can simply ignore the zeros coming towards the end after the decimal point this decimal point is very important so we can rewrite this number as 28.006 however you cannot ignore these two zeros because the last digit is a non-zero digit so you can ignore all the zeros provided there is no number coming after those zeros as we know that 7 can be written as 07 or 007 or even 0007 as we can ignore all these zeros and still the number remains to be 7 similarly after the decimal point after the decimal point if there are numbers and there are zeros towards the end and if there are numbers like 7, 8, 9, you can ignore all these zeros or you can put the zeros if it is required. In fact, suppose if the number is 0 0.789, you can simply write it as 0 0.789. But if you wish, you can put a 0 in order to emphasize that this decimal point lies between 0 and 7. I hope you understood this. Thank you for watching.